two, three, four. feature lesson is 10 bluesy licks in the key of E and as you just saw and heard I played those 10 licks along with kind of like a funky bluesy uh, backing track there and this this will work for you know kind of anything in E but um, I had some major pentatonic sounding licks and some more minor pentatonic sounding licks and I'll kind of talk about that as we go through but all in all just 10 nice little nuggets that you can kind of insert into perhaps your rhythm playing, into your lead playing, and just I guess in your back pocket little tricks you can have and hold, all right? So if you'd like to purchase the full length version, you can click the link down below and it'll shoot you on my website. And it'll come with about 30 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and three audio backing tracks. And what I do for those audio backing tracks is I'm just gonna play an E chord um, for an extended period of time, all right? For just a really long time. And you can just start to master those licks and play them over and over. Um, again, a couple different speeds, you can work your way up. So that's what's going to come with. And if you really like the way I teach and approach learning, there is a membership available at my site. There's another link down there, should be. And for a yearly or monthly fee, access my whole library of over 350 video lessons. I come out with one each week. Um, I have three courses over there, a beginning course, a rhythm course, and a soloing course. And I also have a video exchange program where you can submit videos to me for critique. All right. So Nice little feature there. A lot of things going on for a premier member. Give it a look if you are interested. But for now, we're going to go through the first few licks here for the key of E. And uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down 10 bluesy licks in the key of E here. And uh, any markings on the bottom of the staff are pick directions. Any markings above the staff, like little numbers, will be left hand fingerings. Just a few of them here. But um, yeah, I'm going to break down each. Most of these are two measures long, a couple that are just one measure. But I'm going to break them down slowly and then um, tell you exactly what's going on. So here's that first lick, bluesy lick number one. And it's a largely kind of an E minor pentatonic thing So with the blues note in there. So here we go. Three, four... My, my backing tracks, again, it's a little bit more of a funky kind of blues, a soulful blues than it is. Um, you know, here I was just kind of doing a little alternate bass, strumming. Um, that's kind of the strumming pattern I'm after, but we'll worry about that a little bit later. Well, let's break down the lick. So, um, starts on the third fret high E. So, three. Zero, next string, B string, three, zero, and back to the high E, open, third fret B, open B, and then right here, three on the G, 
and then slide two. Right, that'll, that two will be a down the down beat. So, and then open G. And then we kind of land on the E note here on the second fret of the D string. That's a quarter note there, as you see. It just you know has the stem by itself, so a quarter note. And then zero one hammer on the G. And high E. And then coming all the way back down to the low E. It's kind of a big jump there, but totally doable because we're not going too fast. And that's a super common uh, little, again, motif or nuance, acoustic blues or any, probably any style blues, but that little. Oh. They do it quicker a lot. And we'll do that here in a minute, but just that little hammer on is a little nuance uh, you'll see all the time in several different variations. So that whole lick again, I'll play it all the way. Ready, go. So I was incorporating the strumming in there as well, kind of making it a big circle. And that's what I do for the practice track. So just an E chord with that strumming pattern. And, it, and then it gives you a chance just to play these licks over and over, over top of, um, again, there's no chord change. It's just an E7 chord the whole time. So uh, one last time, I'll go real slow here, and then we'll move on. Here it is, ready, go. Make sure you watch out for the quarter notes in there. It's, you know, mostly eighth notes here. And then quarter note, quarter note. And all that last note means at the end, um, the very last note on the screen, it's a zero with a circle around it. That just means a whole note, okay? It gets four counts. And essentially, you can, you can stop right there. I mean, you can treat it as the whole note, or you can get right into the strumming. Um, and whatever that strumming pattern may be, you can use mine or others. But... Um, that's that's what it means. It's a whole note, just kind of completing that measure. I'm gonna make sure there's four beats in there and so forth. So, all right. So let's move on to lick number two. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. So measure five, um, well, yeah, lick number two, the start of lick number two. So we got open B, third fret B, high E, back to that third fret B. And then we're gonna shift up to the fifth fret on that same string. Okay, I'm gonna do a little slide in there. Back to the third fret. Make sure your first finger's there. So those are quarter notes there. So now we get into, we got some grace notes in here, and this is what's really gonna give it some bluesy, you know, some more nuances, a little more attitude, a little more, a little more sauce on it, right? Is some of these slides, these uh, quick hammer-ons, and in this case, in, in a lot of the, and throughout this lesson, is it's gonna be grace notes. I have them marked as grace notes. So as you see there, there's a little fourth, a slash, kind of a little eighth note, it's got a little slash, and that means a grace note. So I'm gonna slide from four to two, Okay, so I could just do two, zero, but it's not gonna give it the same kind of attitude. Okay, that's what we're shooting for in some of these bluesier licks, okay? You're gonna see this a lot more and I won't explain it as in depth, but the first time I wanna mention it, so. So, dum, dum, two, zero, two on the D quarter note there and then here we have another little grace note open G to the first and we're gonna hammer on the little H up there hammer on to the first fret and it's gonna be a quick one 
the lick before we did an eighth note. But here it's going to be a grace note. Real quick, sharp. Okay, that's what it's supposed to sound like. that zero one hammer on you're gonna see that in all different kinds of flavors uh, if you're playing bluesy licks in the key of E you're gonna see it so Oop. Uh, and then I do slide here three to five Back to three and then here's our use I'm gonna use my second finger on that fourth fret of the G hammer on the G string, it's grace note, then a quarter on the high E, then we go down the low E. Again. If I didn't add the hammer-ons or slides, the zero one hammer on there I accidentally put it in there but as you can see there just wasn't as again as much attitude sassiness sauce whatever you want to call it um so yeah trying to get some little style points in there for sure all right so last time and we'll move forward three four and need to get that zero one a little quicker I haven't mentioned but as far as um, the E7 chord I'm, I'm fingering my E7 chord like this and if you have your regular E take my third finger off makes it an E7 already but then I'm adding my pinky on the uh, third fret of the B that's another seven note right there so I have two D notes um, and that's what I'm using to kind of strum my E7 chord all right, so those are the first two licks. Let's move on here. Lick number three. It's a short little lick, but it's very cool and can be used um, in your rhythm playing any time, really. So, <laughs> isn't that cool? One more time. Right there, I got a hammer on, a little grace note hammer on, zero to two on the D. You know, and I already can see how that just makes a bigger difference than just plucking it, you know. It just gives it more um, attitude. So it's, then it's open D. Then I have a triplet here. It's gonna be one pick for three notes. It's gonna be tricky. Got a lot of strength here in the left hand. Two, pull the one. Pull to zero. And it might sound a little distant, a little weird if you're doing it really slow. Let me get some overtones in there. Triple it, bicycle. And then third fret on the low E, bend, and then open E. And that third fret note on the low E, you can bend. Um, I just have a quarter step bend it written in there and then resolving on the low E open of course most of these are going to resolve on the on the tonic or the root note E note here so you can do all sorts of kind of different bends with that you can bend and release you can kind of double bend kind of get a little wah wah in there however you choose I have for simplicity's sake a little quarter step bend bend pluck okay so let's do that lick three four
sounds a little bit, it kind of rolls a little bit better up to speed as well. I think that's a cool little lick for a short little phrase like that says a lot. Triple it for one, triple it for one. Hmm. Cool. All right. Um, let's move on to lick number four here. Here, two, five, three.